who's there. You're scary, princess. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Exactly! Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, it's been a, a very, 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 very long time since I do a uh, gameplay video, so... I'm gonna do a new game today, yay! <laughs> I forgot where I was with the uh, Link's Awakening, so let's do some other game while I refresh my mind. Yeah, I think, I don't know. So yeah, here we are. Beautiful content warning. This is a horror game, and it is not intended for all audiences. Uh, Slay the Princess contains flickering image effects, as well as a parallax effect that on rare occasions has, a, has caused motion sickness in players. If either of these cause health issues for you, you can disable them in the game's preferences. No, we're not gonna disable them, we like motion sickness. <laughs> Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Beautiful. And uh, I guess we just go straight to a new game. What happened if I press load game? Of course, there's no, <laughs> there's no. <laughs> okay, okay, so new game. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. Okay. You're on a path in the woods, mm. and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, why the princess is in a basement, we don't know. I seen the uh, like the promotion video or whatever on Steam when it's recommended to me, so I think I have an idea what it's gonna be about. But let's see. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Interesting. Interesting. What is this? Oh, this is our option. Why is there so many options? Oh my god, I got option paralysis. Okay, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Yeah, have you considered that? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can someone else do this? <laughs> Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Yeah, have you considered that? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay. Thank you for telling me what to do. <laughs> Sweet! I, I've always wanted to, to offer Monarch before the revolution. <laughs> Suddenly continue to the cabin or turn around and leave. I think if I choose this, the game's gonna end. Is it? So, uh... <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Let's see. I like this one. <laughs> That's the spirit! That's the spirit! <laughs> You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Okay, but why is she like in the cabin? A warning before you go any further. Okay. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Mm, interesting. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Wait, <laughs> did we just did we just say we we, we would like to to slay princess a monarch? Revolution, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, okay. It's like our uh, our evil twin. <laughs> Proceed to the cabin. Just one option. Okay. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay, we're gonna use the blade to kill the princess? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What if I want to do this wrong? 
Oh, we can take the blade or not take the blade, I think. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm gonna do what the narrators say for the first playthrough and then let's see if... I don't know. Let's just do what the narrators say for the first playthrough and then... We're gonna start a new game and then we're gonna explore any other options, I think. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Okay, now enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. But why is she here? Her voice carries up the stairs. Uh oh, this is the princess voice. Who's there? You're scary, princess. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Exactly. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Oh, this reminds me of Stanley Parable. Interesting. <laughs> Hi, or just checking in on you, or... Hey, I think I'm here to kill you! <laughs> or just continue downstairs silently. Um, I think I like this one. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Ooh. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. <laughs> you walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? No, don't trust an evil twin. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yes, I have played. What? No way! Why would you even think that? It wasn't a joke. I haven't said it yet. I'm, I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerve and step forward. Uh, okay, let's do this. Confuse her. That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's a living giant, don't you think? It's normal. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. No, don't listen to him, evil twin. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Mm. Drop or not drop? Maybe not drop? You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. Okay. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Why? You're you're chained and I'm not and I have blade. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to uh -oh. use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Interesting. But I want to She's find unarmed. her. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Yes, let's end this! Um... What if she's bluffing? What if she kills us? I'm not dropping the plate. Slay the princess! Uh -oh, uh -oh. Unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Wait, we're not human. What are we? It's like some kind of like a like a goblin or something. We're not human. Let's look at our. We have scales. What? What are we? Look at those big eyes. <laughs> Princess, I think you're not human either. 
A moment oh, of no. distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Uh -oh. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. What? How? Holy shit, that hurts. Don't talk then. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Oh, really? Your uh -oh. blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. What? Yeah, I, we're not human, right? But how is the princess so strong? We can still turn this around. Uh, finish the job! You and the princess stare at each other both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You mm. probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Okay. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, <laughs> it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Interesting, so... Hmm. Don't know yet, but let's see. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Okay. The two <gasps> of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Ooh. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. You psychopath, princess! How can that be fun? The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder... Wonder what? Do you really think <gasps> this is the end? Uh-oh. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. <laughs> you die, okay. Oh, this chapter two. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Wait. In the bed, you're here to slay her. This is, this is, wait, it's not chapter two? What? Oh. That there is sl slow, slow, slow. That's what. That's the past thing of the sleigh. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> she also killed me, but I never got her. Why am I here again? Okay, okay. I'm getting a terrible sense of a deja vu. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> but I died. What am I doing here? She's going to kill me again. Oh, wait, 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 what, 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 what? Okay, save. Wait, 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 what? How do I? Oh, return. Okay, okay. I'm done. Okay, so right click is save. Okay. Um, maybe you should ask. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first oh. time. Oh! <coughs> That's where we're going? Okay, okay. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Evil twin! You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Oh, really, Director? That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. <laughs> How many voices we have? Evil twin voices. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real. Where oh, yeah, keep clicking the right click thing. Okay. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really happened. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Yeah, why? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Okay. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. Okay. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't I listen. I died because I listened to you! 
We did our best with the information we were given. And we did kill her. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. <laughs> okay. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? <laughs> If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to Makes me. Sense. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? <gasps> oh, interesting. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Ugh, enough with the talking. We've got a fight to win. Nothing else matters. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and your destined confrontation with the princess awaits. Okay, so let's do something different this time. Or we can just talk about the princess! Just be quick about <laughs> it. <laughs> we killed her last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? All she did last time around would beat me to death. How can someone like that end the world? To quote you from the last time when she's just a princess. Why was she trying to beat me to death with her bare hands? Exactly! And the days or that. Who, who's, who's her? Why the place? In the rest? Okay. Maybe this way. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine. Oh really? You don't even answer anything, huh? Okay, so maybe this one this time. People locked her in that basement oh. and I told you what this place is. It's <laughs> a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. <laughs> don't overcomplicate things. <laughs> oh, this is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. Sure there is. It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. Okay. Uh, if people lock her away, why, would, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Yes, why me? I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. Sorry, the mic is not on the entire time. I just turned it on now, so the audio is going to be shit. But, well, things happen, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Why do the windshield keeps falling off? Well, whatever, there's no wind here, so it should be fine, question mark. Yeah, I like the sound of that. <laughs> okay. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Because of you? Mm. Okay, we killed each other last time, let's see. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. Okay, don't talk her to her, don't trust her. Interesting. Why are you telling me? I told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Okay. What else would we even need to know? We've got all the reason we need for a rematch. <laughs> a rematch? Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. Why? Okay, let's go. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Turn around and leave. Okay, let's proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. Yeah, yeah, we she know, we know, we know. And cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Mm hmm Are you sure about that? 
The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. Okay, so what do we do now? Should we just... Did we even talk to her last time? The uh, cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Oh, it's different! Old stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. It's different! See? Even the cabin has the right idea. Let's get moving. The blade is your implement. Mm. Yeah, the whole cabin is with a poster mirror, with the blade. Hi. A poster mirror, I think. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. There, there's a mirror. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Okay, wipe the mirror clean. <gasps> reach forward Ooh. and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look. What? But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. So all of us can stop arguing about it <laughs> and get to fighting. Okay. Um, this whole cabin is different than before. Very different. Hmm. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Is the prince gonna be different too? So focus up. The world is depending on you. Should we take the blade or not? Take the blade or just enter the basement? We do the talking or should we not do the talking? But uh, the content warning said it's a love story, right? Mm, we'll see about that. Enter the basement. No knife this time. This time. Right then, cuffs it is. Oh, well, it says first I'm not just narrator. Anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. Okay, okay. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change oh, your mind. Oh, we can go upstairs? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odour to it. If the princess lives here, so very order. Her a favor. It was rot before, right? Like a. The narrator said, like a rot, something. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Oh, is the voice gonna be different? Is that another challenger? I Finally, not. it's been ages since I've had a good fight. Oh really? This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost. Threatening. Why is it different? A little deeper and almost threatening? Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Or maybe um, something else, you know what I mean? So <gasps> descend the final step. The form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. She's different! She has horn? And tail? What? And it's a... it's a hoof? Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Yeah. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Uh. Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. But no little knife this time, huh? Huh. No. I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. So you do remember me. 
Mm. Let's see. I hope you heard all of that, Miss Nardis. It's not a different last time. Definitely happened. You look different, so you do remember me. I actually am here just to chat. Here to free you. I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. Like how we're both still alive. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Don't worry, I'm always up for a good fight. And I feel unfair. Attack her on armor. The best I'll be, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know what happens to you. Not funny, die. Demon lady. Bye. Turn around and leave. <laughs> Turn around and leave. Not saying anything. Um. Actually, I'm here to free you, I think. Free you? You want <laughs> I don't know why I'm even bothering, to be honest. You know the stakes of the situation. Interesting. Who says I want to be free? Really? You don't want to be free? Hmm. If you don't want to be free, then what do you want? I want the two of us to fight to the death. I want to feel your knife split my flesh. And I want to hear your bones snap beneath my fists. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Is that really too much to ask? Yeah, especially that last part. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be such a coward. Okay. I'm just being cautious. If it comes to violence, we can find a way to deal with her that doesn't involve throwing our life away. I'd rather not die again, and I find it deeply disturbing that you seem to relish the thought of it. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if we die again. So each chapter is just like a, like, what if, what is it, like a reincarnation of us or something? We don't know that for sure, and I'd rather not bet on it. All right, fine, I believe you. What? What? What you said earlier in the woods, I believe you. You've already met the princess, and the princess has already met you. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. Why? You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, are you okay? No. Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Hmm. Just because it's probably going to take this even faster, you don't know that was my papa say. Hmm. Don't worry, I'm going to do a good job. Okay, let's do that. Great. Focus up and do it then. Uh, mm, let's attack her unarmed. I guess we'll have to see how <laughs> this goes. Oh wait, what? Why the camera go there? Come, come back. Oh, she's terrifying. Will you? <laughs> right? It's almost like you don't want us to beat her. No, look, I'm rooting for you. I really am. I'm just doing my best to keep my expectations grounded. You don't have a weapon. You're supposed to have a weapon. We'll be fine. Just watch. You attack. Fists raised and the two of you fall into combat. Your clawed fingers tear into her flesh, and her fists and elbows return the blows in kind, bruises blossoming in her wake, and blood vessels rupturing in vivid sprays of gore. Ooh. Is, is she gonna be progressively scarier and scarier each time he died or something? Not bad. You're tougher than I thought you'd be. Hear that? She respects us. We can pull this off. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. But without that knife, you'll never uh -oh. be enough. Uh-oh. Are we gonna be die? Die, 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 die? Oof. With your sternum Oof. With a loud, violent crack. The wind leaves your lungs and as you struggle for breath, 
you can feel something flooding in to fill the space. Hot blood, suffocating you from the inside. Uh oh. You have to want to kill me. Like uh oh, this. oh, we died and she didn't die. You don't so much as see her movement before <sighs> she deals the killing blow. Everything goes dark. And you die. And I die. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> Why are we still talking That's then? It. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Like hell it is. We're not giving up that easy. Now get up. Ooh, we're not Do dead. You hear me? It <laughs> you're dead. There's no getting up from that. Get up or die. <laughs> well, let's just get up. Wait, no, that's not right. You're not dead anymore. Oh. Yes. Your what? Eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. You're. Wow. The princess takes a step back and looks down at her pulp-covered fists. I could have sworn I killed you. That's your face splattered on the walls and dripping from my hands. Uh oh. What are we? Not oh, my face you're doing. You, I still have my face, right? <gasps> uh oh, uh oh. Touch, touch your face. You don't. I, I don't even know how you're talking to me. Uh oh. Raise your hands and touch the front of your head. She's not wrong. What? What? What did she do? What? What are we? Missing. A face? Who cares if we're missing our face? We can fight just fine without one. Oh really? Um attack the princess. <laughs> you clash once uh oh. More. What's gonna happen now? It's not as one sided as I feared, but it's still a far cry from what I'd hoped. Her injuries, though numerous, pale in comparison to yours, and the wounds you've inflicted upon her barely seem to have slowed her down. As much as you're trying to ignore it, adrenaline pushing you far past your limits. Every movement burns. This is getting boring. Are you even trying to keep up with me? Oh, I thought we were just gonna be overpowered and kill her, what, whatever. She lands another devastating... Uh -oh. No. Lethal blow. Everything goes dark. Again. And you die. Again. Again. You know. I'm going to say. Oh, we just keep, keep getting up. Though we're not dead. Come on, get up. Get up. Just keep going. We're bound to wear her down eventually. Are you sure she can't do what we're doing right now? Of course, I'm sure. We're special. Uh oh, we're special. Get up. Once more, you push yourself back to your mangled feet. You don't have feet this time, huh? Look at how, her. How are you still moving? How are you still doing anything? Bodies aren't supposed to look like that. <laughs> An uncharacteristic terror seems to grip her voice. Have we ever seen her afraid before? No. We haven't. Oh. This is how we win. We can do this forever. I'm going to put you out of your misery. I don't like looking at you like this. You're all twitching and wrong. Ew, what are we even looking at? We're invincible. Her fist flies towards where your face used to be, your twisted body incapable of moving out of the way. And then you see nothing. Everything goes dark and we die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, don't you have something to say? Yeah. I quit. <gasps> quit. I think we're gonna save here and uh, end the video because <laughs> uh, everything is dying. My camera is dying. My uh, my uh, earphones dying. Yeah, so I'm gonna end the episode here. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one, I hope. Bye-bye.